example 20. Find the area of the triangle that is determined by the points P1, which is 1, 2, 0, and P2, which is minus 1, 0, 3, and P3, which is 0, 1, 4. So let's try to form the triangle first. So let's say P1 is here. Location of P1 is 1, 2, 0. Let's say P2 is here. Location of P2 is minus 1, 0, 3. And then say P3 is here. Location is 0, 1, 4. So these three points generally will form a triangle provided P1, P2, and P1, P3 are not in the same direction. Then they are not opposite to each other, then you can form a triangle. So let's say, let's see whether this is true. I'm going to find the area of the triangle. So, how to find the area? We need the side of the triangle. Let's say the vector P1, P2 is called U. The vector P1, P3 is called V. Then, U is the vector P1 to P2. So, which is equal to O, P2 minus O, P1. And O is the origin somewhere in space. So, O, P2 is a vector which is equal to minus 1, 0, 3. O, P1 is a vector 1, 2, 0. Okay, these are called position vector. And so, after subtract, you get minus 2, minus 2, and 3. There is vector u, which is from P1 to P2. And vector v is the vector P1 to P3, which is OP3 minus OP1. OP3 is a position vector of 3, of P3, which is actually 0, 1, 4. And OP1, position vector of P1, which is 1, 2, 0. After subtraction, you get minus 1, minus 1, and then 4. So that is vector U and V. Next, we are going to find the area of the triangle P1, P2, P3. But to do that, how to find the area of the triangle? You can actually take half the area of the parallelogram. So this is a parallelogram you can find. By forming V and U together. So you have vector U here, you have vector V here. Right? You have a parallelogram. So we know how to find the area of parallelogram. We have two sides of the parallelogram. So according to the lecture note on the earlier page, right? So which is actually on page 19, the area of parallelogram is if a two side A and B, then the area of parallelogram is A cross B. So now the two side is U and B. So area of parallelogram is U cross B is area of parallelogram. So take the magnitude, you get the area of parallelogram. So this 
paragraph. So in order to find the area of triangle, just take half of the length of u cos v. Right? Area of triangle. So let's calculate u cos v first. So u cos v, if you remember, is now is a determinant of i, j, k. And you, we have calculated just now. Minus two, minus two, three, and we also we have calculated just now. Okay, so now cost product of these two vector, the i times determinant of minus two, minus one, three, four. Then minus j, determinant of minus 2, minus 1, 3, 4, and then plus k, determinant of minus 2, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1. So after calculation, you have and then minus 8i, and then plus 3i, so this is minus 5i. Then this one is minus eight plus three again minus eight minus minus three and then the k you get everything cancel you get zero so you have minus eight plus 3, you get minus 5. And then this one is minus 8 plus 3, you get minus 5, minus, minus, become plus 5, z. And then the locate. So this number gives you the cross product of u cross b. So then what is the area of program? Then what is the area of parallelogram performed by u and v, where u is this vector p1, p2, v is the second vector p1, p3. So area, in this case, equal to square root of minus 5 square plus 5 square plus 0 square, which is square root of 50. Therefore, the area of the triangle P1, P2, P3 is half of this calculation, which is actually square root of 50 divided by 2, which is square root of 50 is 5 of square root of 2. Okay, 5 of times square root of 2. Since 550 is 25 times 2, yeah. So eventually, this is 5 over square root 2. Unit square. So this finish up example 20.